what's up YouTube, you know what time it is, mighty fan time, and I know it's been a little quiet <laughs> in recent time with the uh, pickup front for a lot of the, uh, a lot of us here in the uh, Jersey Hens community on YouTube, so I thought maybe I'd try to get the ball rolling again with that, I do have a mail day pickup to share with you guys, and there's another jersey that I got about a week or so ago, I just didn't get around to making a video, <laughs> I apologize for that, but you know what, uh, they both recent pickups of mine, so let's let's get to it. Um, this one has a pretty interesting story behind it. Uh, I took a chance on this one. Um, you know, I, I, I want to, you know, have a little message here for the people just getting started out in the, you know, the jersey game, the jersey heads game, you know, collecting jerseys and stuff, particularly when it comes to Mitchell Ness jerseys. Um, because I saw this on eBay last Friday night, and it was a buy it now of $32, and shipping was about 40 bucks. And I was, I was thinking, you know, that price has to be too good to be true. And I just kept looking at the auction. I kept looking at the pictures. The pictures weren't the greatest. But when it comes to the letters and numbers, it looked pretty good. It looked pretty on spot. The patches looked pretty on spot. But sometimes you just never, never know. And I know for a fact that I have seen hundreds of fakes of this particular jersey, you know, on eBay in the past. And, of course, in recent times, too. I've been looking for this jersey. I've been hoping to you know, get it to add to the collection. But there's so many fakes of it on eBay. And when it comes to the sales at Mitchell and Ness, I've seen this jersey in the store in the past, it's just it's never really been in my size. So I couldn't pick it up during any of those sales at Mitchell and Ness. Um, but uh, with that said, you know, I took a chance. I mean, it was a pretty cheap, so I'm like, you know, could it really be 100% legit? I don't really know. But I thought I'd just take a chance on it. Um, I was going to post on the Jersey uh, JerseyCentral.org uh, uh, site in the legit check thread about it, but I figured, you know, by the time I might get a response, it might be sold, or you know, who knows what could happen. So I just thought, yeah, let me just let me just let me just investigate a little myself. So I compared the pictures that I had of it from that set from the auction to the pictures of it on the Mitchell and Ness uh, site, and I also noticed something about one of the pictures that I want to point out to you know, some of the newcomers to the game, and just a little bit, but first, let's get to the merchandise, if you will. This is a 1984, 100% uh, legit, Mitchell and Ness, Ryan Sandberg, Chicago Cubs jersey. I know Jules Kubi owns this jersey, too, and I can't remember if any of the other jersey heads own this jersey. It's a real sweet jersey. I'm really happy I, I was able to get it. It took me a little while to get You guys might remember I have that gray, I think it's a 1990 uh, Ryan Sandberg Cubs jersey. I, I think I'm right on the year, but... Uh, I picked that up in the store, you know, earlier in the year they had a baseball sale, and I picked it up, real happy to get it, but I always wanted this one, too, I always wanted the, uh, you know, the old, you know, blue, you know, kind of iconic Cubs jersey, you know, uh, from back in the day, um, and I was able to do so. Uh, get to the specs of this jersey real quick, I mean, obviously the big, you know, Cubs, you know, passion front, that's, uh, I think that's like triple stitch on the front there. Got the nice red, white, and blue. Very patriotic jersey. I really like that. The Sandberg double stitch on the back, 23. Real nice. Of course, the interesting thing about Ryan Sandberg is he was traded from the Phillies organization to the Cubs. He went on to become a Hall of Fame second baseman <laughs> with the with the Cubs. The Phillies have a pretty good second baseman right now, Chase Elliott. But what could have been a Ryan Sandberg in a Phillies uniform? Uh, but right now he's actually back with the Phillies as a, a minor league uh, manager. So it's like he comes back into the fold all these years later, so it's kind of interesting. But, uh, but yeah, Ryan Sandberg, Rhino, uh, the great Hall of Famer that he is. Um, of course, his whole career, whole, whole major league career was with the Cubs, his minor league career was with the Phillies. Remember that. <laughs> um, his number is retired by the Reading Phillies, too, so. Um, but yeah, um, double stitch, name and number on the back. Of course, this is a dual patch sleeve uh, jersey. Has the old Cubby Bear. Love that logo. It's like my favorite Cubs logo of all time, right there on the one sleeve. And the other one has the uh, 1984 NL East, NL uh, yeah Eastern Division champion. See, that's back when they were in the East Division. <laughs> um, of course, the Phillies are in the East now, but um, but yeah, real nice jersey. Jock tag. Got that for you. There you go. But what gave this away to me is that was the 100% legit, because this is a newer uh, Made in China uh, jersey, but it's very nice. I would definitely recommend it to anybody collecting. Um, the thing that gave it away to me that was the legit jersey 
is, you know, it has these tags, but even the fakes kind of have these tags, you know, and stuff. But what gave it away to me is, notice, this, I, I know, like, all the old jersey heads, they, they know this stuff, but to anyone who's just starting collecting, I thought I'd just give a little tip out there. If you ever see these jerseys on eBay and you have questions, I mean, one thing you can tell about these Made in China jerseys, the newer jerseys from Mitchell and Ness, is you see it has that first, you know, Mitchell and Ness brand logo tag, and behind it, it has this little red drop-down tag with the size, and it will have the size, which in this case is the 52 2X. On the, in the brackets there, it says 2XL right there. It has a little Made in China there on the bottom right there. And this tag is pretty much what gave away to this, to the fact that this is a 100% legit jersey. Because what I've noticed is that the fakers have yet to really perfect that tag. <laughs> You know, sometimes, you'll, like, you'll see the fakes on eBay, and it'd be, like, a huge red tag there on the bottom. Or sometimes, like, it will have, like, the size off to the side. And for the newer Made in China Mitchell Ness jerseys, like I said, they have their, the size on the back on that little tag for the most part. I think just about all of them do. And I compared this tag with the, the newer Mitchell Ness jerseys that I have, both baseball and football. I just wanted to make sure, so I just compared it to a bunch of different jerseys that I have of the newer you know, made in China version jerseys that I have from Mitchell and Ness, and sure enough, you know, it, 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 you know, passed that test, so, again, the pictures weren't the greatest for this jersey, but I, I decided just to take a chance on it, because it looked pretty legit, like I said, sometimes with the fakes, the name and numbers will be a little more s smaller and kind of scrunched in, and it doesn't look as sharp, I should say, so, I mean, just a picture of the back of this jersey, and the front, and the patches, I mean, it looked pretty good, but when I saw this little tag, I figured, okay, <laughs> that looks pretty good. I, I don't think the fakers have really been able to perfect that little, you know, size tag in the back for the newer Made in China jersey. So I took a chance on it, I bought it, and I got it in the mail today, and I'm very satisfied because it is, like I thought, 100% legit Ryan Sandberg Cubs jersey that I've wanted for some time, this blue one. Big fan of this one. I really like the patriotic colors, like I said, and that, that blue, just like on my Pete O'Brien. Texas Rangers jersey. I love that blue. I think that's really cool. So there you go. And it's one of my favorite type of baseball jerseys because I'm a big fan of those, you know, pullover baseball jerseys from the 1970s, 1980s, early 90s. Big fan of those. I really think those are sharp. So I'm really happy, happy to get this one in the fold. I guess I should also say for swag factor. There you go. Huge Cubs hat. <laughs> um. So yeah, 1984 Ryan Sandberg, Chicago Cubs, and the other one I got, got this about a week or so ago. I want to quickly give a shout out to uh, Charger Dude 95 because I know he's a big fan of, obviously, it's his namesake of this team. Um, I'm a big fan of their jerseys. I always like the Charger jerseys, so there you go. A big shout out to you again, Charger Dude. 95, keep making those great videos, great Madden videos and all that stuff. Uh, look forward to that, um, that jersey, that, that, I almost said jersey, <laughs> that, uh, video that you're doing for the, for the, uh, you know, you know, the little project that he and I have been doing with the, uh, uh, the missing rings for the, uh, uh, not, uh, 05 Philadelphia Eagles, so, you know, look forward to that. Um, look forward to seeing how that turns out. Um, but at any rate, um, I guess I gave away what team, I'm going to show. <laughs> a throwback. Uh, this is actually a jersey that I've wanted for quite some time. Um, obvious reasons. I mean, you guys know I'm a big fan of screen print jerseys, football, and some basketball. I know they man too, but uh, this one definitely. I mean, Dan Fouts, 1984, same year as Ryan Sandberg, so I'm showing them in the same video. Uh, and it's also both. <laughs> yeah, Dan Fouts, uh, Chicago, uh, well, Chicago. San Diego Chargers. I can't think of the Sanford jersey, so I got Chicago on the mind. Uh, yeah, San Diego Chargers, uh, the 1984 jersey with the uh, silver anniversary of the AFL, the old AFL, the AFC AFL teams. And wrote wore that patch. You guys have seen this patch in other jerseys of mine. I mean, Kellen Winslow obviously has it. Um, I got the Mark Gastineau with it, and just recently I got that Irving Fryer Patriots has that same patch too. But yeah, blue. Dan South jersey, real nice. Uh, I know they wore this jersey for a time in their period, and it's really not the jersey that the Chargers are most known for when you think blue. Of course, you think the powder blues. Of course, I have the Lance Allworth jersey, you know, Southland Sports Athletic. 
South Bend Athletic, I should say, jersey that I have in in my collection. Big fan of the power blue jersey you guys know. But I do like this jersey. I think it's a pretty cool looking jersey. Um, a little unique. You know, you don't see this one too often for Chargers. You know, you, you, you obviously see the powder blues. You see the, the, the more the navy blues that they wore. You know, to, uh, these uh, more recent and, of course, the ones they wore in the 90s. But this shade of blue is pretty cool, too, kind of a royal shade of blue. I, I really think the bolts really pop on that. And, again, everything on this jersey is screen print. You guys know I love screen print. There it is. The 14 in the front, the south 14 in the back, the lightning bolts are screen print. It's really nice, really. And, of course, the, the 14s on the sleeves. Uh, this patch, though, is, of course, stitched on. But everything else screen print, 100%. 100% legit Mitchell and Ness jersey. You will notice that there are uh, versions of this jersey on eBay that aren't 100% legit. Why? Because the numbers and letters are not screen print, they're stitched. Now I know that Reebok has a throwback line of jerseys as well for football, and all theirs are stitched, so they don't do screen print like Mitchell and Ness does. So if you ever see the Reebok one, yeah, it's probably legit because it's stitched. But if it says Mitchell and Ness and it's stitched, not screen print, that's a fake, so you got to watch out for those. <laughs> they pop up on eBay a lot. I mean, I noticed them a lot because I've been looking for this jersey, and I actually picked this up at the Mitchell Ness store uh, last weekend because they were having a like a Christmas sale, like a week long Christmas sale on their website and store. And I passed on this jersey during the uh, the uh, Black Friday sale, and, and there was only one left in the store. So I'm like, next time they have a sale, even if it's before the Super Bowl sale, I gotta go back for it <laughs> just in case. I mean, if worse came to worse, I just you know, I probably would have just gotten it on their website during the Super Bowl sale or something. But hey, they were having a sale. Anytime they have a sale, forty percent or more, I'm you know, most of the time I go. I know they're currently doing one for Facebook fans for like fifty percent off. I can't take advantage of that one, but that's okay. Money saved for the uh, Super Bowl sale. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one too. Can you tell? <laughs> but yeah, I just went back for it because I really wanted. It. I mean, I kept passing on it. I'm like, I'm not gonna pass on it this time. When I have a chance at I'm not passing out this time. So, yeah, Dan Fouts, 1984 Mitchell and Ness. Love that jersey. Big fan of that color. Might not be the powder blue, but I, I still like that blue. And Dan Fouts, of course, one of the all-time great Hall of Famer. You know, part, big part of that Air Coryell offense back in the day. Kellen Winslow and, and company. Charlie uh, Charlie Joyner and company. So, yeah. So, there you go. Chargers do 95. There's your team. <laughs> San Diego Chargers. Nice throwback jersey there for you. You gotta pick up one of these too, buddy. <laughs> All right, YouTube. That's gonna do it for my day. I hope you guys enjoyed my recent pickup. Um, I hope to see some more of you guys uh, out there with the jerseys and stuff. You know, even if it's not a recent pickup or whatever, you know, just come out there and let us know how things are going. You know, share some of the collection or whatever you guys want to do. You know, it's up to you. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see you guys out there a little more. I know it's something that other members of the Jersey Heads community have shared. And it is true. I mean, let's just keep this community going strong. Let's keep it going. Let's all have a happy holidays, too. And uh, that's going to do it for me. Don't have any more jerseys to show. So. <laughs> but I will for Christmas, so be on the lookout for that. <laughs> all right, YouTube. That's going to do it for my fan. But a big shout-out, as always, to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Keep hitting that subscribe button, because i got some more stuff to show over the, the coming months and stuff, whatever. So, I got some plans for some videos, too. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. Um, to all of my uh, fellow Jersey heads, big shout out to you guys, too. And, uh, you know, like I said, I look forward to seeing you guys. Keep making these videos on YouTube. Keep the Jersey heads community going strong. Uh, all my friends and family, big shout out to you guys, too. Uh, of course, the Chargers Dude 95, big shout out to you, too. And, uh, of course, as always, I'll see you next video. Go Eagles. All right, I know A-Rock. Hey, they're playing your your Vikings this Sunday night. So there you go. You get you get you get to if I can speak right. You get to get a good look at my Eagles <laughs> next Sunday night. So here we go. <laughs> All right, YouTube. Peace. I'll see you next week. Bye.